to me, I, I believe that uh, uh, to say that you're an anarchist just means that you do not uh, you do not need a government to self-impose rules on you or to tell you how to live. As an activist, I am. I believe that I am actively trying to bring about social change and work. As an artist, my art is my way of being an activist. They're the tools that I use. Years ago, somebody was just acting like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my telly tubbies because you have it on your computer. <laughs> <laughs> you got the bottle. He's obsessed, aren't you? Good versus evil. No, this is a goodie one. Yeah, this is, is a goodie no good one. Or evil. You know, if you're tr if you're an artist, you obviously want people to see your creativity. You want to see your end result, and it's very difficult working within the you know galleries and and stuff like that. She is very excited about her artwork, and uh, as a result, we have become involved in it as well, and we're equally as excited. I think it's rather cool, actually. Yeah. Um, I live in a very, you know, ordinary type of accommodation and at first I sort of thought what's going on here, but yes, I think it's, I think it's good. I had this idea that I wanted to, to have my work and show it and it to be uncensored. I was reading books on fantasy art and suddenly the two things just went like a light switch and I thought, ah, why don't I just do my own house? It's perfect. I, you know, I have this huge canvas that I can work on, so I just started. There is a sign that I happened to get from a Hackney Mental Institute and it had the treatment rooms. So we put that on the studio door and the name kind of stuck because for me, when I go into that studio and when I start to mosaic, it's very meditative, is repetitive. And, and you know, to me, it's, you know, mosaicing and ceramics and all my creativity helps to keep me sane in, in what I consider a very insane world. Seven years ago in, in 2000, I was working on a community mosaic and I, I had a big issue and in the back of it, it just had an advert saying to befriend people on death row. I just started writing to a man called Louis Ramirez and I wrote to him for five years and he was a wonderful friend and a wonderful confidant and, you know, I went to visit him two days before he was executed. They killed him. Two days later, the state murdered Lewis. And I think one of the things that has made me far more of, a, of an anarchist than an artist is being so close to watching state-funded murder, to being so close to seeing what injustice means. After Lewis was executed, I came back and compulsively, manically spent eight months mosaicing the back of my house in memory of him and all other, you know, uh, prisoners currently held on death row. I very much believe in the cathartic um, nature of art for the artist. I think if our children were uh, free to do, express themselves a lot more, if people in prisons were, if people in hospitals were, if, if we embraced creativity much more and encouraged it in our society, I think it would solve a lot of the problems that we have.